I'm making a game and I'm focusing on the wrong thing. First, a little background. I've already released a game, not because I thought it was commercially viable, although it definitely isn't as bad as some of the games on the Play Store, but because I wanted to familiarise myself with the whole process, from creating the game, to marketing, and releasing on the Play Store and itch.io. This isn't my first rodeo, it's my second, so obviously that means I know exactly what I'm doing. The very first thing I should do is come up with a gameplay loop and prototype it. So, instead, I got straight to work and created some assets for the background. I made some water, fences, hedges, a tree, some benches, some bridges, a cloud, paths, and a beautiful house. Yeah, I'll need to change that at some point, but I'm relatively happy with the rest, although I'm sure I'll update them at some point after I get started on the gameplay and prototype. My initial idea was to make some sort of monster raising game. When I was younger, I liked Tamagotchi, although I never had a proper one. I had one of these. A Micro Pet Virtual Puppy. One of my favourite games was Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, and I loved the Chow Garden. The idea that you could collect chaos drives and animals in the main game that affected Chow stats had me hooked. I loved the races and boxing, as it was a welcome change of pace from the core gameplay loop. Another of my favourites was Monster Rancher, where raising your monster and fighting in tournaments was the core loop. My aim is to make something that brings me and hopefully many others the same joy that I felt when playing these games. So, I've got an idea. The next thing to do is obviously to sit down and think about the game loop or some basic mechanics. So, instead, I opened up Godot and started setting up a tile map for my paths. Anyway, I realised I didn't have nearly enough sprites for a 3x3 minimal, so I found a template and filled it in with my path assets. I did the same, although with fewer tiles for hedges and fences, I've even added a monster with a blink animation. This is clearly the work of someone with their priorities in order. So if you enjoyed the video and want to see me continue making my monster raising game, please like and subscribe. If you have any ideas or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment because I'd love to hear from you.